Hello, and welcome to The Cosmic Connection. I'm your host, singer-songwriter Torn Floyd, aka The Cosmic Prince, and this is a safe space where we connect you to the universe within by opening our hearts and minds, one lyric, one melody, one performance, sign, season, color, number, energy, chemical, at a time. Please allow The Cosmic Prince LLC to connect you to your inner worlds by revealing new realities. So we're going to get right into this. I have been following this Johnny Depp and Amber Heard case, and y'all know I got something to say. I took a little break. I've been performing. I've been um, working on my children's books. Uh, the series of three, The Power of Three, um, will be coming out very soon, right around my birthday. So y'all be on the lookout for that. I'm doing this reading today, and it's going to be a quick, short reading so I can upload it and just have a timestamp. But when you do divination, you see the truth of things either clearly or from your perspective. And y'all know here at the Cosmic Prince LLC, at the Cosmic Connection, we deal in truth and love. That's why we mostly be outside, because it's important for us to deal with nature, to see how things grow from the root to the sprout, from the seed and the soil is how you can determine the truth of things. Woo! All right, so I'm going to drink some of my holy water. And we're going to get right into it. So I'm pulling cards for Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. Amber Heard is a Taurus. And she comes up in this page of diamonds, page of pinnacles. That's Taurus earth sign. The thing about Amber Heard is that her birthday is April 22nd. So she is a Taurus with fiery Aries. And so that's where the ram and the bull inside of her, I'm going to do a little astrology for y'all, but the ram and the bull inside of her, they be going at it. And so her personality is to be on the earth, hot and heavy, wild, like a motherfucking animal. And for a lot of men, that's attractive to them. It, it, it intrigues them. And they're like, oh, she's a wild woman. Oh, she's a minx. Oh, that pussy fire. And really, that pussy crazy. That pussy don't cook, she don't clean, she don't raise children, she don't care about your mama. What she care about is these diamonds and these pinnacles. Uh-oh, is my dick on the screen? Sorry. This is, I don't know if this is for kids or not, but uh, I'm sorry. Anyway, this right here is Amber Heard coming in at that page of diamonds, but she's not a queen. She's not even a king. She a whole page. And Johnny Depp is coming up as the king of spades, the king of swords. His energy is very much so, um, he's in his thoughts. He's a Gemini. His birthday is, what, June 6th or 9th? Somewhere around there. But he is the king of his thoughts. He's in his mind right now. He's thinking about a lot of things. He's thinking about his future. His past decision, his presence. Um, he's also trying to get control of himself. I know that he has dealt with some substance abuse issues and that whole Hollywood lifestyle. And really, when I say that Hollywood lifestyle, because y'all know where I'm at, y'all know my family, bitch, everything is determined on you. How we live in Hollywood and we make changes and we get laws passed and we actually fight for the BIPOC color people who have been here. For over thousands of years, yet y'all come to Hollywood and y'all get lost in the sauce. It has to do with you. The root of things and the soil in which you plant your seed is determination of how it is going to sprout and the fruit it produces. It starts from within and up. The environment is a reflection of what's coming through. But Johnny Depp is in his king of swords. And I pulled Amber at the bottom and Johnny at the top. And so this is Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Now, normally these two would go together because they're looking at each other. And when y'all look at Amber Heard, I want y'all to pay attention to how masculine blood it is. She's a masculine woman. It's that Aries left over in that Taurus. But because sometimes we think white is right, you think that this little innocent white woman, a page could be a princess, a prince, someone younger than the king who's focused on money. They say she a social climber, right? So clearly she was social climbing 
to get to Johnny Depp, who was always the king of swords. And when you understand how good of an actor Johnny Depp is, you see how he is literally the king of swords and he be in his mind. But he is the master of his own thoughts. He is the master of his energy. She is not. She can't even rule over herself. She has to look to the king to get her pentacles. But you see what she's rooted in. Money. So maybe she grew up poor. She's from Texas. So y'all see all that red, that fiery energy? Ooh, she was beating his ass. And so when I pulled this spread, I just wanted to understand Amber here at the bottom. And then I wanted to understand Johnny at the top in the middle. And then I wanted to see the overall energies of the environment that this is going to play out in as far as the courtroom. Um, I know they're having this case in Virginia. I know that in Virginia, it is better to sue someone for defamation there as they have a history of understanding the Constitution, the laws. Um, they're really a Commonwealth state. And because Virginia is one of the oldest not only jurisdictions of free colored people and native indigenous autochtons and foundational black Americans, as well as migration patterns with establishing Port Charles and the different Moorish colonies that ended up becoming the free states of the United Colony of the Corporation Commonwealth. Yes, my grandfather's a history teacher, so I speak in fact. That's why I said you have to understand the root of things before you just coming in on some sly slip because you think you see something. Because one thing I want people to understand is that when you go and buy land, you need to know the 100 year history of the land to see if that land's going to be profitable. And you thinking you're going to buy Johnson Street. And when you actually go and look at the land, if you're in your king energy, you see that, whoa, this ain't Mr. Johnson's land. This is buckwheat in them land and then it went to Tilly in them because they stole it and then Tilly sold it to Mr. Johnson and Mr. Johnson kept it in his family for over a hundred years but it wasn't his so when you really about your shit shit you know that you can't come playing these little games and Johnny Depp and his team now I picked his I pulled the card for his team and I said Johnny Depp didn't come to play y'all Jonathan didn't come to play Johnny Depp is right here with his lawyer. His lawyer is the page of motherfucking swords delivering messages on behalf of the king. Now, the way the cards are faced, Johnny is sitting here. His lawyer is listening to everything Johnny is saying, everything that Johnny is saying. His lawyers are listening to him. He's speaking to the lawyers and the lawyers coming in as the page or the prince or the governor or the speaker of the house. They are coming in to deliver the messages of the king. So on behalf of our client, we're speaking for the king of swords, which means that his legal team is coming not to fucking play. They showed up in their swords energy and the master of their swords. This is not this is not a legal team who came to play. This legal team is in unison. This is Camille Vasquez. This is the um the other the other tall white man. I can't think of his name, but they bring up his name a lot. But Johnny Depp's team, they're in unison. And you don't play with the King of Swords, especially when he has his sword court with him, because they're gonna eat that ass up. Now, Amber's lawyer team did not come up in here at all. What came up was Amber and her team being in the motherfucking five of swords. And I said, already, look at how she looking at the five of swords. She lost in her thoughts. It's, and I said, this card is under the page of swords. And so how I read my readings is that this is what Johnny Depp and his defense is fighting against. They're fighting against Amber Heard's Five of fucking swords. Five of spades. This bitch done caused the fight. And she's in the middle of the fight. See, swords equate to thought energy. What was the page, the princess, the masculine woman, what was she thinking about? Diamonds, money, what happened? After 
being married to Johnny Depp for what, a month or two months? She got mad because she found out she wasn't in his will. Yet he had been married before that for only two years. And then he had a whole living girlfriend who they met on a movie set that he was with for 14 years and his kids are by her. And his last son was born in 2002. Was he born in 2002? Between 2002 and 2012. But I remember Johnny Depp leaving his baby mama with the teeth. And I thought she was pretty, but she seems like French or English. But I remember him leaving her. And he left her. And it was like, it was like a weird thing. They like broke up and then he got with Amber Heard after the Rum Diaries in like 2011. And I said, from 2011 on, ain't nobody remember Amber Heard. And she's been at the center of so much mess trying to social climb. Because bitch, you're just a page. You are in no way, shape, or form a king or a queen. That's why you're on the page level with the help. See, they're fighting it out. That's why they're looking at each other. Because they're duking it out. And it's thoughts versus money. Though, and Amber Heard don't have no money. So it's two different tactics. But Amber Heard is presenting this five of wands. And that's why the Page of Swords, Johnny Depp's lawyer team, is looking at this five of swords and saying, bitch, you are at the center of all of this drama. And they have presented facts in a case of in 2010, I mean, in 2011 and 2012 and 2015 and 2016, you did this, 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 and that, and you're at the center of it. That's what they're arguing. And Amber don't like that because she looking at it like, I'm the victim. He did this to me here. He did this. He did this. And then they asked, her earth sign asked for proof, and she going against it because she's not a queen and saying, I don't got no proof. This is the card of fights, thoughts, letting shit go. You see these back here? This is letting that shit go. Letting those two swords go. And maybe you're holding on to three thoughts. Like, well, then, and then if you guys are going to take this and you're not going to believe this, well, then believe this and believe that and believe me. And ain't nobody doing that. And she showed up in the five of swords energy. You're stupid. And when I say stupid, you didn't calc you didn't think about your actions. You didn't think about the things that you did over the course of your lifetime in this relationship coming back to bite you in the booty hole because you are at the center of all this drama. This five of swords means drama. Usually it means someone defending themselves from false accusations or thoughts they have to get over or communications or other people's negativity. But this card is her in the center. She is really off the drama tip. And Johnny's lawyers are arguing that because when you be like, well, why is Amber Heard doing this? She thought she really loved Johnny Depp. She literally is doing this for love, but for the love of money. This is all Amber right now. She's doing this for the love of money. She's a page of diamonds with the two of fucking cups, the two of hearts. She's doing this for money. She has the love of money. All she sees is Johnny Depp's money. And again, they were in a relationship. This is Amber Heard. This is Johnny Depp, the Gemini and the freaking Aries Taurus. They were in love. So they thought there was a huge gap in between them because their ideas were coming from the past and looking to the future with no present foundation. So y'all was living in La La Land. He was probably looking towards the future up here while she was down here looking at the past like, I ain't never going to be broke again. I ain't going to never do this and that again. But again, she looking through the diamond up here like, I'm going to be rich. I'm going to use his money. He's going to help me get this. He helped get her Aquaman because, again, my future wife going to work. I'm going to be more supportive. He's going to do everything right that he didn't do. This I, The cards don't lie. And neither does the Cosmic Prince because I deal in truth and love. And truth and love means, bitch, love and truth. It's not what you think. It's what it is. They were married. They were in a relationship, but she was focused on the money and he was focused on his thoughts of doing better. They were mismatched. They lacked foundation. She was thinking about the money. Now, mind you, look how Amber shit show up. Look at what's in the middle. Not the love card. This is how Amber's actions are showing up. This is her divine energy. 
This is her present thoughts of why we're here. And this was her past foundation. This bitch thought she was in love with this man's money and how she was going to get him to basically fund her life. She was living in a penthouse with all these people. She was cheating on him with James Franco and Elon Musk because, again, she's a five of swords, your drama. And if anybody else gets this, because it's under Johnny Depp's lawyer, they're over this. So they're looking at it and saying, you're the problem. So they're taking these swords and they're trying to show you guys that she's the problem. The cards don't lie and they work synonymously. Now, at the bottom of Amber's position, you got the freaking Eight of Swords. I said the cards don't lie. I just pulled this shit. I just really literally pulled this this morning because I said, look, I told y'all Rihanna had a boy. Her and ASAP Rocky are in love. Like, they're really happy. He's Somalian. She's from Barbados. Girl, y'all don't even understand the history of royalty there. So let them people be. And I didn't post it. And I also didn't post that Britney Spears had a miscarriage and she's still reeling from the fact that she's free and don't know what to do with herself. So I'm going to post this Amber Heard Johnny Depp reading. Um, I hope you guys can see where the jury is at in here, because if you count it up, you can see the jury. And I'm going to show y'all them. I'm going to show y'all them and I'm going to show y'all where they're at. But let me hurry up and finish this because I said it wasn't going to be long. Eight of Swords, Five of Diamonds. I'm seeing a pattern here, Amber. I'm seeing a pattern here. You like to insert yourself in the middle of things that is not your foundation. You see, four represents foundation. You can't build anything without four sides. And then what are you putting in the middle? What's going to live in there? What's the center of that energy? Is it the sun, moon, stars, or you? And her thoughts and her earthly pleasures was wrapped up in money. And her final card is money. Money, money, money. The bitch you in the middle of the eight of swords. Amber Heard is trapped by her own thoughts and lies. Eight of spades, eight of swords, lets you know that somebody is lying. Somebody don't want the truth to come out in this situation because the eight of swords also for Johnny Depp represents that he'd been living in this hellhole. And he knew she was trying to take his money because he asked for a post-nuptial agreement. When I see this together on Johnny's side, he was nervous to ask this bitch for a prenup. Which is why he asked for a post now. He had a lot of thoughts and he felt trapped in these thoughts. But we'll get back to him because Amber Heard.